it's not like painting or sculpting or anything like that where you're you're making something out of nothing it's um, your ability to procure emotion or emphasis or even documentation out of something that already exists I got kind of serious senior year of high school um, my mom gave me my grandfather's camera and um, that's when I started getting getting pretty serious getting in the dark room I actually made my bathroom into a dark room for a little while when it came to photography I was able to kind of look at a view whatever it may be and crop it down into something that either made sense to me or um, I saw as more beautiful Why do you suck? My first camera was a film camera, it was my granddad's, that I guess I kind of inherited when he passed away. The Canon AL1 Beauty. Got dropped one time by a boy that I used to date. It's kind of why we don't date anymore. Just kidding. Um, used to have a nice little hand grip, but this makes it feel a little bit more like home. Duct tape comes off occasionally and the batteries no longer stay in. You kind of create a relationship with your camera and it seems comfortable in your hands and I don't think I could use another film camera as well as as this one that I just have grown to know and love. Sometimes it's a little testy, sometimes it doesn't quite whine the way you want it to, but all in all, it's my baby. You gotta look for emotion when you're photographing people, that's what it's all about. That's the hard part about photography, but if you're trying to capture people and feelings, and if you're trying to evoke emotion in a photograph, that's when it gets... It's crazy. No, I think it's fun. At band camp? I'm <laughs> joking. <laughs> My first digital camera I got last Christmas. So I was never I was never a digital fan and I'm still getting used to it. Um, there's something I think beautiful and as cheesy as it sounds, just I don't know, more personal about having film, watching it develop, um, being a part of that process. Being in the dark room, you're able to make the photograph that much more your own than you are on a computer. And you're doing it tangibly. You're not, you're not just you know, clicking here and moving the mouse there. Actually, I mean, you're picking up the paper and moving it and watching this image appear. And that's not a luxury that you have with the computer. It's just there. It's, it's so instant and easy that it almost takes away from, I think, the artistry of what black and white photography can be. So. I know that. Athens has its own beauty and I miss it all too often. Um, it's just a whole lot easier to appreciate it here in Cortona and just to look at these beautiful buildings and the people and see it all as new and exciting and interesting. And it's, it's something that I want to take back to Athens and appreciation for my surroundings. Every photographer seems to have some sort of thing that they love to photograph. And it's been really interesting trying to figure out what exactly that's gonna be for me. I know I'm you know, young still and have so much to learn, but um, it is an interesting just kind of journey to be on through my art. I don't find myself taking pictures of the exact same things every time. I love what age can do to things. I love capturing um, personality and character and a point in time that maybe no one else has experienced. I feel like I've been so blessed and it would be an absolute waste to not capture that and allow someone else to experience it. No one can feel the sunshine right now. No one can can understand how incredible the wind on my back feels right now or the chills that I get when I look down at the cemetery behind me or um, kind of just the music that life seems to put itself to. But nonetheless, it's an opportunity to capture that beauty and to bring that that life to them. And so while I don't think that I have a style, I have a purpose. And my purpose is to bring people along with me.